Hey, you got the habit members. So by now you've probably got the point that we tried to keep this box elegant, classy, and yet simple and quick to paint because we know the holidays are busy for everybody. So for your project, we got this wonderful village and it's cut, or it's a village, it's a house. And then it has a little tea light that will go behind it, giving you a little bit more of that glow. And then we did include some greenery that you can kind of place in the front just to give it a nice Christmas vibe. So you can obviously paint this to match your decor. I'm gonna stick with that same theme and just go ahead and paint it white using my yellow sponge. And I still like painting these two pieces separate even though we're gonna glue them together because I don't wanna get my paint all over the edges there. So I'm just gonna grab my sponge, dip, scrape, and let's get started. As you're adding more layers, try not to get too much paint so it doesn't leap, sleep in between your windows as much, um, or you're just gonna have a little bit more cleanup to do, unless you somehow wanna paint in there. So I actually got some on my round window here already. But you can smooth it out with another paintbrush, but just do your best. And then if you find yourself pushing wet paint around a board, go ahead and give it a quick blow dry and that'll help your paint stick to it. And where I got a little bit in there, I'm just gonna kind of dry it up with a white sponge where the little paintbrush inside can help too. Really doesn't matter if you get it on the edges, it's just, you just don't want like a big clump to dry. So then you gotta sand it down. All right, so to glue it, I'm just gonna put glue on the edges of the little piece. You can apply with a yellow sponge, a paintbrush, anything. And then, this is important, you want to glue it towards the front. It doesn't matter which way is the front, but bias on one side. And the reason for that is because we want the base to help hold our tea light. So go ahead and let that dry. Check out my white here. White does take the most layers because it's got the most primer, or least amount of primer to it. And so it just takes a lot of layers to build. That's why we gave you extra. There we go. I like that. All right, and once you have it painted and you have this all dry, you're gonna put your house in there and then Go ahead and turn on your tea light and you have your project. Oops. It's hard to line it up backwards, stand by. So once you have your house all dry, your base dry and your house painted, then you're going to take it and pop it into your base if it's too snug a fit, it just means you used a lot of paint. Just use the sandpaper and sand down the edge a little bit and it'll be just fine. All right, and then once you have it on your mantle or wherever you're gonna put it, just put a little bit of your loose greenery around there and give it a nice rustic vibe. Thank you, Gotta Have It members. We appreciate you. Have a great holiday.